Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello, future engineers and subscribers. Here is another problem on complex trust, and I hope that you will enjoy watching and you will learn something, the technique in analyzing complex trusses. Now, for those who want to solve this problem by your own, then you can do so by posting the video. So determine the member forces in all members of this complex truss. Here is the given figure. So I proceed by considering joint B because this is unloaded and let's denote the stress of BG as Q as shown. And the angle here is because this is 12 and the truss is symmetrical minus 66 divided by 2. So that's 3 meters. That's also 3 meters. Therefore, this angle here that BC makes with horizontal is arctan of 6 over 3 and that is 63.45 degrees while the angle that SBG makes with horizontal is arctan of 3 over 6 26.565 degrees so again we de I denote SBG as Q summation forces horizontal equals 0 SBG cosine of 63.45 degrees plus Q cosine 26.565 degrees equals 0 so SBC is equal to, in terms of Q, negative 2Q. Summation forces vertical, uh, SBC, which is negative 2Q sine of 63.45 degrees, equals SAB plus Q sine of 26.565 degrees. So SAB, in expressing in terms of Q, is equal to negative 2.2361Q. Then we proceed to joint A, summation forces X equals 0, so AX is 60 kN, and I leave to you to compute the vertical reaction summation moment about F equals 0, so AY times 12 plus 60 times 3 equals 50 times 3 plus 90 times 6 plus 80 times 9. So you'll get AY equals 102.5 kN, likewise you sum up moments about A equals 0, RF times 12 then equals 80 times 3 plus 90 times 6 plus 50 times 9 plus 60 times 3. You will get RF equals 117.5 kilonewtons. So at A, the angle here is arctan of 9 meters over 9 meters of so 45 degrees. That's 45 degrees. So first summation forces Y so that we can solve AD. AG will not be involved. So SAD sine 45 degrees plus SAB which is negative 2.2361Q plus 102.5 equals 0. So SAD is equal to 3.1623Q minus 144.957. Summation for SSX equals 0. SAG plus Quantity 3.1623Q minus 144.957 cosine 45 degrees equals 60. So SAG is equal to negative 2.2361Q plus 162.5. We then proceed to joint C. You may proceed to joint F if you want, but or joint uh, D if you want, but let's ju I'll just proceed to joint C. So the angle here is again 45 degrees and 63.45 degrees. <laughs> so to solve for SCF, summation versus Y first, not summation versus X because we still have SED here. So negative SCF sine 45 degrees minus SBC which is minus quantity negative Q sine 63.45 degrees minus 80 equals 0. So SCF is equal to 2.5298Q minus 80 square root of 2. Summation for SSX equals 0. SCD 
plus SEF which is 2.5 to 98 Q minus 80 square root of 2 cosine 45 degrees then minus negative Q quantity cosine of 63.45 degrees equals 0. So SCD is equal to negative 2.6833 Q plus 80. We then proceed to joint F and this is the free body diagram. Remember this is 45 degrees equal to that. Summation forces uh, X. <coughs> so negative SFG then negative of SEF which is minus quantity 2.5298Q minus 80 square root of 2 cosine 45 degrees equals 0. So SFG is equal to negative 1.7888Q plus 80. Summation for SY equals 0. So SEF plus negative plus quantity SCF which is quantity 2.5298Q minus 80 square root of 2 sine 45 degrees plus 117.5 equals 0. So SEF is equal to negative 1.7888Q minus 37.5. Then summation forces F, we proceed to join D. This is the FBD. 45 degrees 63.45 degrees so let's solve for SEF by summing up forces uh, X then check summation forces Y equals 0 we cannot compute Q because everything is in terms of Q so summation forces X equals 0 SDE cosine for 63.45 degrees minus SAD which is SAD is uh, quantity 3.1623Q minus 144.957 cosine 45 degrees then minus SCD minus quantity negative 2.6833Q plus 80 equals 0 so SDE is equal to negative Q minus 50.312 then finally summation for SY we can solve for Q so SDE which is negative Q minus 50.312 sine of 63.45 degrees then minus SAD minus uh, quantity 3.1623Q minus 144.957 sine 45 degrees minus 50 equals 0 so combining Qs negative 1.3417Q then the constant plus 97.5005 equals 0 from here we can solve Q 97.50 0, 05 over 1.3417 so q which is sbg is equal to 72.669 kilonewtons but we have to verify this answer by checking equilibrium of the other joints so we then proceed to join e so this is the free body diagram the angle 63.45 26.565 degrees that is SDE summation forces X first to solve for SEG. So SEG negative SEG cosine of 26.565 degrees minus SDE minus quantity negative Q minus 50.312 cosine of 63.45 degrees plus 60 equals 0. So SEG in terms of Q is equal to 0.5 Q plus 92.238. Substituting the value of Q, so SEG is 0.5 of 72.669 plus 92.238. So SEG is equal to 128.572 kilonewtons. Then check summation for SY. So summation for SY is SDE. So quantity negative Q minus 50.312 sine of 63.45 degrees because it is upward then minus SEG minus quantity 0.5 Q plus 92.238 sine of 26.565 degrees then minus SEF so minus SEF which is minus quantity negative 1.788 Q minus 37.5 so combining the Q's and combining the constant, 
summation force is y is indeed 0 0.67077 q minus 48.75 substituting the value of q so summation force is y is 0 0.67077 of 72.669 minus 48.75 so summation force is y is indeed 0 okay then finally let's check joint g and this is the free body diagram this is 26.565 degrees. Summation forces X. This is now checking the equilibrium of G because everything is found. So S E G cosine 26.565. S E G is quantity 0.5 Q plus 92.238 cosine of 26.565 degrees plus S F G. So plus quantity negative 1.7888 Q plus 80. Then minus Q cosine of 26.565 degrees minus SEG SAG and SAG is quantity negative 2.2361 Q plus 162.5 then combining the Q's combining the constants summation versus X is indeed zero so that's fine finally summation versus Y uh, SEG which is Quantity 0.5 Q plus 92.238 sine of 26.565 degrees plus Q sine of 26.565 degrees minus 90. Then combining the Q, combining the constants, summation versus Y is 0 0.67082 Q minus 48.75, which is substituting the value of Q. So 0 0.67082 times 72.669 minus 48.75 is indeed zero also, or almost zero. So okay, so that means all our calculations are correct because we find the last joint to be in equilibrium also. So SBC therefore is negative 2Q, negative 2 times 72.669. I want you to do the calculations. So it is negative 145.338 kilonewtons SAB, negative 2.2361 of 72.669, and that is equal to negative 162.495 kilonewtons. So all you have to do is evaluate these forces, member forces, with the value of Q, 72.669. I leave that to you, the calculations, because all you have to do is input the value of Q. So SAD. 84.844 kilonewtons SAG 0 kilonewtons SCF 70.701 kilonewtons SCD negative 114.993 kilonewtons SFG negative 49.990 kilonewtons SEF negative 167.490 kilonewtons and finally SDE negative 72.69 minus 50.312 is negative 122.981 kilonewtons that's it and I hope you enjoyed watching and you learned something from this problem and bye bye